30, 31 and a half. 31 and a half. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right here at the butthole. Now you should come out right about here somewhere, right at the back of the fin. You're gonna go. Yeah. Come on, get in there. Yeah. We're gonna go in and down. Yeah. This nice little a little tough doing this on the boat instead of on my cleaning table. Yeah. hang a nice chunk of meat up here but that's you go this way and I usually cut that out separate because it's just easier it's easier than trying to work around this up here because mm -hmm. that meat is so tough on these fish I think I'm gonna get them freaking uh some more JL I haven't got any I'm gonna get some yeah downward on it and that meat is that skin's so tough that oh, my good knife got swiped off my boot two flight knives the same day taken off my boot okay all right i'm gonna take and cut that Set that there and get this piece out quick. Obviously, you do a lot of these. <laughs> <laughs> Good bit. Good bit of them. He's got a little right. tail. And here we go. Clams. Yep, told you. These fish are full of clams. This is their main diet down here. Yep. Okay. So now you have all that to hold to, just like that right there. Which makes it super, super easy. There, there. This is tough not having a picnic table. Usually, I like to take these and throw them in a five gallon bucket of water as I'm filleting them. Mm -hmm. Same here. And let them soak a little bit. I'll do that when I get home. I'll let them yep. soak overnight. Yeah, let the, you don't even have to let them soak overnight. But it'll, uh, if you soak them in water, it'll let the fat come off of them. Yeah. This off. Don't want to leave any of this fat on there. None of that red meat. Yeah. Yeah. No merchandise or issues. Just add some fresh water to clean this.